Hey guys, I'm Jessica from House Sweet Eats and today we're making roasted butternut squash goat cheese dip. It's been one of the most popular recipes on my blog for the last couple years. So to start, we're gonna roast some butternut squash. I am all about the ease here. I totally think that you should go ahead and buy the pre-cut butternut squash at the grocery store. Now, when I get the pre-cut stuff, I do still kind of chop it up myself because it's usually not uniformly cut. Our butternut squash pieces look like they're all about the same size. I'm gonna transfer them to a baking sheet. I'm gonna drizzle the squash with olive oil. I'm gonna sprinkle it with salt and pepper, some garlic powder, and then a couple of grates of fresh nutmeg. If you guys haven't started using fresh nutmeg yet in your recipes, you totally have to. A jar will last you forever and you just grate it over a microplane. The flavor is so fresh and delicious. Our squash is all seasoned. We're gonna roast it for about 20 to 30 minutes just until it's tender and caramely and we can blend it all up. While our squash is roasting, we're also gonna prepare our pitas. I grabbed some at the store and I'm gonna slice them into triangles, place them on a baking sheet, cover them with melted butter and then sprinkle them with black pepper. We're just gonna stick the pitas in the oven just till they're like barely warm so they're perfect for dipping. Okay, our butternut squash is finished. It's roasted, it's caramely, it's delicious. We're gonna go ahead and add it to the food processor so we can blend it up. So we're gonna go ahead and add our goat cheese to the food processor as well with the squash. You do want your goat cheese to be a little bit at room temperature, softened, but the squash is warm, so it's gonna help it melt and all kind of meld together and just create this creamy, wonderful, delicious dip. Okay guys, at this point, you don't really need to bake the dip, but I like to just to make sure that everything is heated and warmed through. And when it comes out, we're gonna to top it with some fresh herbs and eat the heck out of it. Okay, our dip is almost ready. Let's go ahead and get our warm buttery pitas out of the oven and get everything ready to eat. Okay guys, our dip is out of the oven. It's delicious. It's super hot and steamy and cheesy and melty and wonderful. I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and then sprinkle some fresh herbs on. I have chives, some chopped basil, and some oregano. The dip is absolutely perfect. It tastes like a big bite of fall. So I hope the next time you guys have a party, cocktail party, holiday party, Thanksgiving, some sort of holiday coming up, even just a big game tailgate, that you give this a try.